what's going on beautiful people chris back with another video hey in today's well we already fished today but in today's video what you guys are going to watch we got a special little trip going on we got dave over here and john both from akuma fishing US usa you guys know me and josh have been using a lot of akuma products the last year and a half putting them to the test these guys play a big role in that much appreciation to them they're down here for iCast in Florida Orlando they decided to make a trip over here in the Tampa Bay Dave's been out in the Tampa Bay a couple times before right, John for me. has never been out yeah. in the Tampa Bay so we're gonna go out there and slay well we already did but you guys get to watch it so well what'd you guys think actually quick quick some of the day before they get to watch fast, man we're from southern california we've got nothing like this our inshore fishing is totally different what you guys have down here super unique super special when you can just pop out and catch redfish and snook and get your own bait you know we don't have that option in california dude you guys are so lucky i said the exact same thing you can come out here we caught five species today we can't do that in southern california you come out you have a good time catch some food put some food on the table it's yeah we, we only caught five fish by the way hey, don't forget to book a trip saltyscales.com salty <laughs> hey watch the video enjoy you want to book a charter link in the description want to check out akuma gear everything will be in the description box below all right guys we'll see you on the water all right guys so we moved uh locations dolphin were scaring all the fish away and taking our baits so trying to right now work for some snapper maybe josh just caught a jack dave possibly just hooked up with a jack right now we're just trying to chum something up we got John over here fishing a uh, dead bait. Dave's doing a little bit of jigging, and I think Josh has got a lot. Well, Josh doesn't have a bait now. I don't have a bait. Though. Now, Dave, how many times have you fished in the Tampa Bay? I've been down here probably half a dozen times or so. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's a fun place, man. The fishery down here is amazing. Nothing like we have anything in California. Nothing like this. It's really, really cool. Yeah, we're... those grouper pull hard, by the way. <laughs> Dave did learn that that the grouper uh, grouper tried to pull him in a couple times. John got his first mango. You probably got a mango before. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, John. Sorry, John. Not that big though. How do, what do these guys? Uh, They're coming up at Charles, Chris. Yep. Are they two feet or a new PB? No, you can grab them on the bottom. You want me to get them? Here, I'll show you. Show me. I don't know. Yeah, right, right here. You gotta get them a lot you bigger. Just, okay, cool. Grab them right there. Now they'll snap. Your favorite hint snapper. Fourteen. Here, I'll tell you. Oh, so that's legal. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. He's going in the box. 13 and a half. All right, guys, so this is what John was using. A little bit of cutting. Cutting the head off, putting that hook in the belly. I like to kind of tuck it in like that, hides it a little bit. What we're doing, guys, is I was just, uh, they're finally coming up a little bit in the chunk. At least that's what you would assume with John catching one. There you go. They're getting cut. Come, there you come, go. Come, come. Go, John. John's on them. Oh, oh. It's all right. Throw them back out there. We're just up here. They're like right under the boat. Yeah, because the bait's uh, yeah. slowly drifting back with that current. Yeah. Well, what I was doing for him is I was just tearing off the head like that. And then they got that little belly cavity. So you can take that hook. And it kind of kind of yeah, kind of hides it. There you go. Oh, that's a good one, John. Pump, 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 pump. Lift up. Lift up and reel. There you go. There you go. That's a good one. Fish. That's, that's a, a good one, John. That's your biggest Dude, that's gotta be. That's gotta be a grouper. That or snook. Come on, come on. Oh, that might be a big thing. Walk back, walk back. Don't let it get in the rocks. Rod tip high, rod tip high, rod tip high. There you go. Oh. Rod tip high, rod tip high. That's a beast. Might be a tarpon. It might be. Oh, oh eat your fish, dude. Dude. What do I do at this point? Yeah. Now you now you know how we feel. What was the fish? Did you see it? It was a jack. Now you see why we we go away from them? Jack to dolphin. Dude, that was a huge fish. I thought it was a big snow. Oh man, I was getting all excited right now. Like what is that? What is that? Alright guys, so what we do when the dolphin come, we gotta blame somebody on the boat. I think it was Jonathan's fall My again. Fault. I will take the fall for that one. <laughs> Look, he's all pumped up. You guys should see him. He's shaking, shaking over man. here. I'm shaking. He'll be shaking. I was all pumped. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you were getting him. Pumped up, all excited, adrenaline pumping. <laughs> Woo! Let's go again, man. But I, when I heard that drag going, 
That's on that Cedros. I know. That's on that Cedros, guys. That SRT in short from here. Hey, Dave, Dave says people are sleeping on the Cedros here in Florida. Me and Josh would have to strongly, I, I can't speak for Josh, but I know that I can strongly agree. That reel's a beast. Oh, oh we're going to rig him back up, see if oh. we can't get some more. I got to get some more chum oh. in the water. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you what, it is scorching out here today. At least that's how I feel. John's ready to get himself oh. some grouper after missing, or well, after the dolphin. Exactly how those days go. Yeah, look at that. Did he just drop a pinfish in the water? Dolphin's about to pop up. Don't you? Say, did he just, he just said a dolphin's about to pop up. <laughs> Guys, if that happens, <laughs> that's bad to have juju to so bad. That is bad. That's so bad. There's a, Dave's like, you can catch the dolphin. All he's Chris, just cracked up. Going, dude. What you doing? All right, so look, here's Come the back. Here. Oh, fish down there. Which rod's that? Oh, that's a beast rod right there. What? Oh. No. Damn. Dude, he lit you up twice, John. Twice. Oh, John sucks. Damn. John sucks. I believe in you, John. That was a keeper, I think. Did went, that drag? He yeah. went like zoom. All right, guys. I'm gonna go back up to the front and do our thing. Chum. We'll cut them up because that tide is ripping as you can see throw these out like so chum chum till they come john's a cool nice. there you go john all right there you go that's a good one shoot that's that's a solid almost keeper John's second gag grouper in the Tampa Bay. All right, you can let him go. Let him. You gonna pull that fish, Dave? Come on, Dave. My camera's off. Mine too. That's why. Oh, I think he's a grouper. Oh, that's a good. That's a good fish, Dave. That is a good fish. Nice work, brother. Dave, dude, Dave. that's a good fish, Dave. Yeah, look at that. Don't that camera around a little bit. A little Tampa Bay fatty right there. Dave was just talking about the the GoPro curse. What did I do? I turned off the uh, camera. Oh, what happened? Dave got himself on the board with a nice gag. There it is. 23 and a half, a little short. That's so right. we're gonna let him go and let him grow. John's getting it down. Look, John's all pumped up. He's like, oh, I gotta get another one. Dave's on another one. As he pulls it in, it's like an inch from a keeper. Yeah, still a great fish. Damn, they're all just short. What's going on with it? I ain't gonna lie, that Makaira, <laughs> that thing just winched him in. Makaira's a beast. Another picture? He's just, he's another 23 inch. And he got to take his meal. All right, let's try to get on, on the action before we are completely out of pin fish. Hey guys, right, so I wanted to jump in here and talk real quick PCH about a mistake that I made. As you can see, dropping my pinfish in to hopefully get in on some of that grouper action. But I made a mistake in the fact that when Josh hooked up on the other side of the boat, I looked to the left and as you can see, I was letting my pinfish go. And when I let go of my line while I was looking to the left, he got hit, the line started to shoot off, close my bail. And by that time I was already too late and the grouper got me stuck in the rocks. So as there you can see, make sure you're always keeping your head on a swivel, your rod yeah, on a swivel, and you're ready uh, for yeah. that bite. You always gotta know what's going on, or you're yeah, gonna I miss it. That That's a beautiful fish. And a keeper? It's close. He's just gonna be fat. All right, guys. how fat this one is. Josh got to feel the power of the Komodo for the first time. Yeah, not too bad, guys. Look at that. Oh, man. And that was in the major. Dude, that was nuts, because... Oh, he hit it. Oh, see, and now he won't hit it. You don't get them while they're fresh. They hit it with... Dude, he just... Boom. That's what mine is. How's the moons and stuff affect you guys in California? We get pretty big tight swing. Look at that, guys. He's... All of his fins are out. He definitely got hit. Yeah, see, like me and Josh have been talking about, it's like they... They eat so much at night, yeah. they see the pinfish, and it's mother nature to hit it, yeah. but they don't want to eat it. Yeah, right. There he is, there he is. 
There he is. Oh, nice. he's out. Oh, that's a big one. He's out. Get him, Dave. Get him, Dave. There you go. Dang, Dave. Dave. <laughs> Dave winching him in with the Makaira again. I'm going to pick up that Komodo, too, and drop down a penny. For a big filter. Oh, something just hit the surface right there. Oh, there they are. Yeah, I saw them. Yo, there you go. Snapper and board. Was that a half dead? That was a full. Alive or dead? Dead. So you got to free line the, the whole the, um, cut beef. All right, guys, we switched it up to some snapper fishing. Probably about a 12 and a half, 13. Oh, man, he bit it in half. <laughs> Took that whole sardine. All right, guys, like I said, switch it up to some snapper fishing. Looking to put a couple in the box. Wow. We already got a, we already got a few. Uh, Y'all can't see them because you don't have polarized glasses. Dave, Dave, Dave can. can. If you watch over here, Dave, watch how many snapper you see. You'll, see, you'll see like red. Oh, there's so many snapper. Yep. Oh, missed him. All right, guys, so honestly, I downsized a lot. I'm using a one-off live bait hook. See how, I'm, see how my line is laying on the water? You can just watch your line instead of watching your bait. And once that line starts shooting off, you got to fish. But you got to be quick. There you go. That's a whole one. That's me. Not a big one, but it is a fish. Ooh. Trying to bite your finger off. Damn. Oh, there's so many of them. See you see them all, Dave? Oh, yeah. Look at them. See them turning away from my bait? There you go. That's a good one. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a good that is fish. a good one. That's a there we go. 16, actually. Ah. That's a fatty too, dude. Dinner right there. Look at him eating the chum. That's how they get all blowed up. Dude, that is a good fish. All right, guys, check out that fish. That is a fatty. Let's go measure him. 15 and a half. Oh, oh that's your snook or cobia. Is it? Yeah. Yep. Guys, Josh just got toasted by John's fish. Going back in. Super fishing. That's another nice snapper. Oh, Ooh, another good one. one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. <sighs> Guys, that's another 15 inch fish. Look at all the snapper. Oh, oh there's a million of them. Maybe a hundred. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that's another 15. 16. Oh, that's a good one. There you go. There you go, boys and girls. Alright, good job. Watch me here. Toss in. Let out a lot of line. See how I got a bunch of slack? You want that thing to sink just like our chummies do because if they see you twitch it they won't touch it there you go another good one I'm trying to teach these california boys that finesse snapper fishing josh hooked up with a dirty 30. We just moved in shore, guys. See if we could get a bite or two before I get off the water. And he's catching it on my rod. Did Unreal. I tell, you, did I tell you I saw him earlier. Come up and eat. Oh, he's a monster. Shitty net. <laughs> Broken net. All right, guys. That 
is a dirty 30 to end the day. Let's get another one though. Me yeah. All right, you can go up. Don't horse him. Yeah, just nice and easy. Get the. You have a map? Yeah, kinda. Yeah, but he's not ready. There you go, John. Nice. Come on, Johnny. Very good. He's not done yet. Oh, straight the boat. There you go. Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yes. yes. I'm not gonna lie, John's been working hard for that fish. He's yeah. trying everything over here. Oh man, dude. I've been yeah. waiting for that one, man. Yeah. Alright guys, that is some meat right there. Got some snapper ceviche coming up. Maybe a little grouper sandwich. Kept the mackerel because we killed him, so we're gonna put him in some good use. But nice day of meat right there with the Akuma boys. Let's go. Hey, what a great day out in the Tampa Bay with the Akuma team and Josh. They got to truly experience how diverse our fishery is here from catching bait in the morning to catching snapper, grouper. We caught an inshore slam. Uh, that consists of redfish, trout, and snook, as you well know. But they really got to fully experience it. They even got to see the dolphin and how annoying they are. I swear this year it's worse than it's ever been. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. It really helps a brother out. Comment down below, have you got to do any snapper and grouper fishing this year? And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're wanting a fishing charter here in the Tampa Bay, make sure you reach out to me. All my information will be in the description box below. All right, I hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace.